Winterfall Firewater is one of the most sought after items in all of World of Warcraft Classic right now. It's a level 45 consumable that increases your size and attack power by 35. It's actually a noticeable amount for rating, so every melee DPS who wants to show up on damage meters is going to be wanting this item. Now what makes Winter Winterfall Firewater interesting is the fact that you actually can't craft it. The only way to obtain this item is to farm it off of the Winterfall Furbolgs that spawn in Winterspring. They spawn here, here, and of course over here at Winterfall Village. Now I went to all three of these spots and they were completely camped. This is the only one right now that I have even a chance of farming. There's one level 60 hunter and a rogue here, but I'm pretty sure I can destroy this rogue and this hunter backpedals. So I'm not too worried, but let's see what we can get from these guys. keeping my eyes on these guys over here seeing what's good with small sm glory yeah and go go the other way i'm 90 percent sure i can spank this kid okay he's cool We're cool. Jumping me when I'm low, huh? Okay. It's gonna be one of those kind of farms. Alright, so this is our 100th kill so far, and I gotta say, this is pretty tough, dude. Like, we're gonna be here a while. There's just so much horde, so little respawns. It's hard to lock a spot down to yourself, but I do have this gangster mage over here. We're kind of splitting this area. And it's kind of nice. I am going to try out some new stuff, most likely, just because this is taking way too long at this rate. So I'm going to turn up the heat, maybe boost some gamer fuel. I will see you guys when we're at 500 kills.
All right, guys, so here we are at 499 total kills. This took by far the longest out of any of the videos so far. I am gassed, but I do feel really accomplished, I'll be honest. I did learn a lot from this farm. Like, I definitely should have saved arms for farming in Winter Spring just because there's so much PvP that I'm pretty much constantly fighting to, you know, own the spot. It's a lot of fun, though. I do enjoy uh, world PvP. It might be one of my favorite parts of vanilla, but when you do it for, you know, so many hours straight, there's a point where you're like, all right, let's see what loot we got. So for our 500th kill here, we are looting one silver and 45 copper. <laughs> Not too bad, but like I said, there's a lot of PvP here. So for new players, it might be a little daunting, you know what I mean? Like all of a sudden you're over here in Fellwood killing slimes and trees and then you come over here and you know you're fighting Swifty with all the reflector trinkets and everything like Winter Spring is where the big boys hang out and I definitely felt it you know not having my trinkets and stuff so for new players I'd be a little careful doing this farm but for older players you know how to world PvP you know how to make alliances and chill with the opposite faction then you should have no problem but that's enough of that dudes let's head over to Stormwind and check out the loot not too much good stuff, honestly. For the amount of time I was out there and the amount of PvP and low-key, the amount of focus I had to put, like, that was not a brain AFK farm, you know what I mean? For a farm like that, I would expect a lot more loot for 500 mobs. But we got a Liberum of Rumination. I don't know if that's a good one or not. We'll check in a second. One Star Ruby, two Pride Lord Bands, Jade Fire Pants of Arcane Wrath, Resplendent Cloak of Shadow Wrath, and a pretty useless one-handed axe that we're going to just end up vendoring. Along with 187 rune cloth, which it's like whoop de doo, you know? And then all these grazed to vendor and some useless scrolls I put on the auction house. Just a couple food and these useless uh, patterns. Now, the big money does come in from the Winterfall Firewater, and I did have 11 total major healing pots, but I used eight of them just trying to survive out there. So, uh, this should be 11 pots, but we did get. 22 winterfall firewaters which is six gold a piece we'll be able to make some money at back but for now let's go see how much we get for all these grays as you guys can see we are at 22 gold 78 silver raw gold just from looting you know the raw gold off those bodies and when we sell these grays it brings us to a total of these recipes are useless so 42 gold 90 silver not very good Fair not well. very good at all but Maybe we can go put some of that stuff on the auction house and feel a little bit better about the farm. I think it's the Liberum of Rapidity or whatever that's worth money. This one is 13 silver, so we're able to retire now, boys. Spectral Tiger is on me. One Liberum of Rubination. Star Rubies are always good. Runecloth sells, right? I mean, it's free. It's just free money. I just take whatever. Wow, two gold a pop. That's decent, man. That's decent. I wonder why people need runecloth right now. I'm not sure if these Pride Lord bands will sell for much, but you guys know me. I like to throw auctions up for five gold if I don't think they're going to sell. And if they don't sell, well, then I just get rid of it forever. So I'm sure these will make some uh, Boomkin really happy. Shadow Wrath Cloak. That's okay. I'm a hopeful guy. We'll go 20 gold for that. Call me stupid if I'm stupid, but that's all right. These scrolls always sell. I don't know why, but I mean, people like their buffs nowadays. If we were on Horde, a green axe would probably sell for more. The healing pots, mana pots always sell like cakes. You guys know that. And then here we go, guys. The big money. How much are we going to get for 22 Winterfall Firewaters? Six gold, 30 each. 63 for a stack of 10. Two stacks of those. About 120 gold there. Or more and then another two so what's that about 140 150 gold just from the winterfall firewaters that is where the money comes from right it's from these potions i guess it would be a little overpowered if the mobs dropped a lot more stuff than uh they already do because that firewater is worth so much on its own simply you know from the fact that people can't craft it there's no really other way to get it than just killing those stupid bear you know dudes out there all day and night and then competing with people who are trying to kill you so they can kill the bears all day and night it's really ridiculous but honestly if you're looking for like an active farm where you really gotta like focus and pvp and stuff i guess i would recommend it but from a strictly gold per hour standpoint not the best but you know i'm sure everything will sell so that's a perk there i wouldn't i would give this on a scale of one to ten i'd give this like a six fun if you like pvp but definitely not gonna get a lot out of it guys 
If you enjoyed this video, please drop me a like and a sub. I will leave my Twitch somewhere up on the screen now. I'm trying to get a couple followers before TBC drops. I really want to stream some arena gameplay and have a couple viewers for that. I think it'll be a lot of fun. If you guys have any ideas or recommendations for mobs to kill or anything to do with the series, please let me know in the comments. I'm constantly trying to change things up and make this better. But that should do it for me, guys. Make sure you take it easy. Good luck on getting your epics out there. My name is Barack Age, and I'll see you guys in the next one.